Hi and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers. Now it's been a while since I've done a catch up video. I've sort of got a little bit behind with them. They're probably the hardest video to edit out of all the videos because I have to go across, find all the clips, put all the comments on and I've been really busy. And in addition to that, I've been having a break like you told me to. So I am going to try and catch up on them. But this one is the palace in Portugal. What a place. Literally one of my favourite, if not probably top three explorers ever, ever, ever. And that's how good it was. And you guys seem to love it as well. There was a lot of talk about the, the getting in in the first place. It was hard. It was hard work, but it paid off. Right, so I've got to what should be the first location. And I ain't going to lie, it's not looking promising. Right, I'm an idiot. So this is where I've just been trying to get in. And th this is the building I need to get in. I'm a proper idiot. Good job I didn't get in there. I'm in the wrong, in the wrong place. Behind it. But that's not the one I want to go in. That's right down there. God, can you hear the cockerels? Like mental. So I can't believe that at the beginning I actually went to the wrong place altogether. I was about to climb over a fence into somewhere where people worked and I don't know if they lived, but like it was a normal building because I'd got the map the wrong way up and I was looking at it all wrong. And then I worked it out and I was like, oh wow. You guys really seem to like the journey. The climbing over things the dropping down although i did really hurt my back you know and my legs jumping down that 10 foot wall i think i jarred something and i wasn't right for the rest of the weekend because of that but it was still worth it but you guys seem to really enjoy the the journey to get there sometimes as well which i haven't really been able to inv like include in the past because it would have just been too long so sometimes if it's a bit epic i will include that and like I said, you guys seem to really appreciate that. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my Lord. What's there? Look at that door. Look at, oh my goodness me. This, right, let's start down here and work our way up. Look at this. Look at the tiles and the design on there. This has been worth, already in about 20 seconds, this has been worth the two and a half hours it's taken to get in here. I don't think you understand how much work it has taken to get in here. Well, you've just seen a chunk of it, but weird, weird building around the back, but this is crazy. Look at these stairs. So we've got more tiles over there. Horses, like hunting scenes. This is one of the most spectacular set of stairs. It's like something off the Titanic, mixed with something out of Middle Earth. Look at that chandelier. And then we haven't even looked at the artwork. Next up is the first bit that I got into. Now, I actually didn't realize at the time, although it was part of the same complex, that building actually isn't owned anymore by the same people as the as the palace is. Although it's weird because when you look on maps, it says that the bit with the red stairs and the stained glass window is actually the palace and the other bit isn't. So I, I don't really get it, if I'm being honest. It doesn't really make much sense, but that bit's been done up. But the bit with the amazing artwork isn't. It's not, nothing's happening to it. It's just getting lost. And it's such a shame. And that's why I'm so glad I persevered and persevered and ended up getting in. Because if that place that goes up in flames or, I don't know, gets ruined because of water damage, nobody's ever going to see it. And I'm so glad I had the opportunity to see it with my own eyes. Because, trust me, it was 10 times better in person than it was like seeing it on camera. I couldn't get everything in. There was so much to see and the detail was so good. It just blew your mind. It was so, so good. Right, 
I know you won't be happy about me doing this, but I just want to have a look a bit further up here. So we're back to the same old subject, my footwear. People just really hate the fact that I wear trainers. And I don't care, because it's not going to change. I just need to explain. People have been saying, oh, you're going through muddy fields, wear wellies. Two things, can't take those on planes with me because I haven't got enough room. And two, I can't... I can't, I can't climb over walls in wellies. I can't wear hiking boots. There's no, you can't feel the wall enough as you're climbing up. You can't feel it. And I know there is new hiking boots that have got thinner soles and stuff like that, but it doesn't let your feet breathe enough and move about enough. I, I can't do it. So it won't be happening. And I won't be taking anybody else out with me exploring either. So get that out of your head. It ain't happening. I know, I know you care. And I appreciate that. But it ain't happening at all. It's just never going to happen. I just, I just better by myself, to be fair. And if something happens to me, it's my own fault, innit? But yeah, I know you care. But no, no, no dodgy gimp mask wearing people. No boots. No long trousers. No wellies. None of that. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Down the red carpeted stairs as well. Look at someone's... That's disgusting. But look at this. Now, one of the other things that has been said, and I totally agree with this, like I couldn't agree more with it, is graffiti. Now, what, if you look at the behind the scenes videos from Portugal I've done, you'll see that I do appreciate some graffiti. Graffiti is good. When it's good, it's brilliant. But if you look at the... Oh, it's just... It's sickening. Some of the graffiti and the placement of the graffiti in that place is just infuriating. And a few of you have said the same sort of things as well. It is mad that people can go and see the masters that have done the work in that place. Thought, you know what? I'm going to write my name and make it look shit underneath. Just people are... I just don't get it. I really don't get it. There's a castle on, I keep seeing this castle on stuff. It's like a mix between a castle and a lighthouse. But look at that wood ceiling and that centerpiece. It's got lion rampant on it. That's like Scotland. How good is that? Honestly, how amazing is that? Now I'm just gonna pop my head around this corner just to make sure. Oh no, it's not the same place, but oh wow. Look at it in here. Oh, Jesus. This place is just unbelievable. I sort of wish I'd come in the daytime, but I definitely would have been caught. Oh, look at it. Look at this. Oh, Lord. These ceilings get better and better. Just let me turn you around. In fact, I'm gonna put you down here. And then we're gonna go slowly upwards. Look at it in here. Look at this room. How amazing is this? Now this is that, I wanna say, tr Trump Leol or whatever it's called. The, it's not actually, it doesn't, look. It's a painted on. All of it is painted on, but it looks 3D. Look up there. Look at the detail on this place. Now, the one thing I will say about this video that I am disappointed about, like massively disappointed, but it's my fault, is it hardly got any views. And I don't think it's because it was a bad video. I, I think the opposite, I think it was a really good video. But I brought it out on Christmas Eve. It was like my Christmas present to you guys. But because obviously a lot of people were busy on Christmas Eve, they missed the video altogether. And then another one came out another day and they, they just didn't see it. YouTube didn't notify them. So if you haven't seen this, this Explore, stop playing this video now. Go away and watch it because trust me, the place is amazing. It's not just that one room. There's so much to see. It's so good. I hope I don't get tropical diseases. 
I don't want to get bitten by a mosquito trying to find this place. Because it's all, it looks, it looks like I'm in a rainforest. Right, let's keep going. Right, I've made it through the jungle. I feel like bloody David Bellamy. I don't know if you'll even remember David Bellamy, but I have just come through the thickest woods ever. Now, one thing that did surprise me was the amount of people that actually remembered David Bellamy. I, I mentioned him in the video and I was like, didn't think anybody would remember him, but people clearly do. In fact, one of you even met him. <laughs> so bizarre. It's weird. Some things that come up in conversation in videos, it just, I don't know where my brain goes sometimes. Like, I don't think I'm quite normal because all of a sudden I'll just be talking. It'll just make me think of something. And then I have to mention it. And it just is so unrelated. But, but you guys seem to appreciate it, so I'll carry on doing it. Not that I can help it anyway, because I'm just a bit a bit mental in the head. I didn't even make a noise. I went mental for go cuckoo. And it just went <laughs> What's wrong with me? Right, so I've just done a bit of research on the first bit of building we went in. And like I said, it was a totally different building. And it was built in the first quarter of the 18th century so the 1700s so before 1725 now a massive big family bought it in 1762 uh, and they carried on owning the place from 1762 right through to 1950 i think that's mad um that they owed it all that time and their family sort of like were in there i probably could do with spending a lot more time reading this but the way it it's because it's been translated from Portuguese. I've got Google to translate it for me. And it sort of doesn't make sense. You read it and it's sort of like... It says here, look. Which on the noble, noble floor correspond to the balcony windows with iron guards crowned by protruding, protruding straight sling of Santry. It sort of doesn't make sense. So there is stuff there. If you guys want to do the research on it, like I said, it is quite easy to find. I'll put a couple of links down in there as well. Um, but that building itself is going to be sealed up in no time. So that's why I don't mind sort of telling you about it. The bit next door, um, there isn't very much information about it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I've tried to find, like I found some old photos. But it's old photos of the building next door. I can't find much online about that at all. Right, so I've just been doing some editing and I've found out loads about Bernay Palace, which is the bit with the amazing designs that I couldn't remember the name of from the life of me. But I've done loads of research on it. I found out that it was linked afterwards with the tropical hospital next door. Uh, they were doing some planning, did a bit of an expo in there for... Uh, Mozambique they were doing some um, like mini hospitals over there I've got some photographs that I'll put in as well also the building was built in the 1700s early part of the 1700s similar to the building next door I've also seen bros of decay have been there in the last couple of days which is brilliant I reckon they were there not much difference in time to when I was there so I would it would have been good to bump into them the good lads um also, and I think this is weird, but the Prime Minister of Portugal has now put out a statement that over the next, I think maybe 18 months, 16 million euros have been invested in purchasing these buildings, doing them up and turning them into something amazing to do with the museum um to do with culture and stuff like that so they're getting saved so this amazing building is getting saved and i am so pleased about that and that statement was put out on the 4th of january i was there in december so i would like to think that it was something to do with me but no probably been in the works for a while but amazing 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 i'm so pleased it's getting saved oh i'm back again <laughs> i also found a photo in one of the big halls we were in um, with the table in there and the chandelier and stuff how it was originally so i'll put that in for you as well anyway 
Hope you've enjoyed the video. I know you like looking back at these videos and I do my best to do some research for you, but I love looking at your comments more than anything. I love to see the research you guys have already done, the bits that you like to tell me about and you've got involved in. That for me is more important than me sitting for hours doing research on a building because I love the fact that we can connect. I can find out stuff from you and hopefully me talking about it will inspire you guys to look into stuff as well. Anyway, love you all. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.